Hello everyone, this is Kerry Anderson. Hope you all doing well. In today's video, I'll be talking about how to manifest a job offer using the law of attraction. So if you like the video related to manifest power, I would like to request you all. Please do subscribe to the channel, hit the bell icon and give thumbs up so that I will come up with more and more videos with lots and lots of information. So here we begin this go. How to manifest a job offer using law of attraction. So many people are in job that they don't enjoy working on things that they don't value. Some of us daydream about a new path. Consequently, manifesting a great new career is a common goal for those working with the law of attraction. For example, you will have heard of many people using the secret to get a job or to change to a new area of work entirely so are you trying to manifest a job of your dreams while it's a common goal it's also easy to get frustrated when you haven't yet achieved the result that you want you may as well find yourself wondering whether you will ever manifest the future of your dreams however just like any manifestation journey is simpler and more attainable then we think keep reading or discover the eight steps for this successful career manifestation now manifest a job in eight steps when you really understand how to work with law for russian job success is entirely possible this guide will explain how to manifest a job working through the key steps to job interaction and helping you figure out your true passion we will also offer sample information that you can adapt and use in your manifestation practice ensuring you start every day in the right way the step one show gratitude no matter what you are trying to manifest you need to align yourself with the vibration of abundance rather than one of lack this means that you need to refocus your attention on what you have rather than resenting what you don't have in the case of manifesting a job this means learning to love the role you currently occupy first the things to appreciate the things that help you grow and nurture the gratitude that's this reflection and use for example you might note down two things that inspire gratitude at work each day meanwhile if you're correctly unemployed tune into the good things about having some downtown trust that you need this period in order to achieve an ultimately satisfying career and consider how you can make the best of the way your life is right now other skills you can learn ways you can nurture your body or relationship you need to give some time to now step two discover what job you really want to manifest a job you have to have a solid sense of what kind of career you really want even if you think you have a clear idea of your dream job it's well worth taking the time to reflect on whether you are right about this often we think we want things because we have internalized ideas about what success means or about what kind of person someone else wants us to be in addition try making a list of specific things you want from a job if it's easier start with what you know and you don't want example i don't want to work 70 to 80 hours a week and flip those negative into positive i want to work approximately 40 hours a week think about all aspect of a potential job from colleagues to your environment whether your working time is flexible this uh, list will serve you well regardless of the type of job you want now what is your dream job prompts if you struggle to say what your dream job might be don't worry as noted above there are a lot of things that can block your intuitions about your life purpose working through these four prompts will help you develop a clearer image of what you want to manifest the first one ask yourself why you care about having a job that revolves around your passion make sure it's simply because your peers are doing it or your family expect if you ultimately realize you can be happy pursuing your passion outside of work it may be worth concentrating your manifestation potential elsewhere the second one ask yourself what role work plays in your dream life what does the right work life balance look like for you do you want a job that take up uh, most of your time or do you want work to leave you with plenty of energy for other things ask yourself what you would like to be particularly good at doing success and skill mastery and all intimately intimately connected so what would you like to excel at and how can you integrate this into a career ask yourself what sacrifices you are willing to make things to consider include where and uh, you are willing to live time sacrifices pay and commute options step three 
remove limiting belief if you are struggling to manifest a job you enjoy it's highly likely that you are holding on to a limiting belief these are underlying assumptions often held to uh, at the subconscious level that prevent you from vibrating on the frequency of bring you want to attract in the case of job this belief may be about you what you are capable of doing what you deserve or the limitation of people like you these limiting belief need to be replaced if you are to make the most of the law of attraction firstly you need to articulate such belief try writing down them down and figuring out where they come from for example you might realize that you think you are not good with people and uh, that this hacks back to when you were bullied at school rather than reflecting the experiences you have had with adult for each belief write down a replacement example i can work with the right people step 4 look for sign it's wise to be open minded about indication you may have found the right job sometime even if a job opportunity is not perfect for you it will be the one that provides a stepping stone to the perfect career when you are working with the law of attraction signs from the universe can come in many different forms take particular note of surprising invitation that you receive and unusual chances to attend networking event In addition you may keep seeing posters or adverts for a particular place or thing if you do take note this may be a clue to how you can find your dream job however it's also worth noting that signs can be more abstract look out for revealing symbols numbers or any kind of patterns even if you can't derive meaning from them at a time note them down and come back to them later to see if you can make any connection step 5 make a plan of course attracting a job also requires concrete practical steps one of the most empowering things you can do is to make clear line a list of what you need in order to get from here to your dream career you might start by sketching out the biggest steps and then break those down into a smaller or more achievable sub goals for example step 1 could be enhance my cv but the sub goals could include applying for some volunteer work writing a guest or contribution for a blog post in your area of expertise and going to a relevant conference don't forget that you don't have to plan on your own feel free to solicit the help of helpful optimistic friends who want you to succeed or to reach out to people with the whom you have had some kind of mentorship relationship planning can feel daunting and it's much easier if you have supporters in your corner now the step 6 move forward when you reach the stage of moving forward it's time to actively start applying for jobs even if you are not entirely sure that they are right for you view every application process and job interview as a chance to own your skills getting you into the right frame of mind for the perfect opportunity to perform well in interviews make sure you do the following practice preferably with a friend guessing at some likely questions and formulating some appropriate answers think about phrasing attitude and what you want to convey about your suitability now make some kind of connection with your interviewer whether it's simply remembering their name or pointing out a past connection an example going to the same college research where you would be working ahead of time so you demonstrate a clear sophisticated understanding of the company's aim choose your look days before and have it all ready the night before so that there's no rushing and no indecision step 7 take responsibility when looking at how to manifest a job offer is crucial to take full responsibility for yourself and for your life in fact this is advice that applies to all manifestation work instead of viewing yourself as a victim of circumstances view yourself as an active empowered agent who can facilitate um, change at all levels if you don't know yourself act decisively and take care of your needs you are highly unlikely to attract a job that revolves around your ring what you love taking responsibility of yourself doesn't just mean working to improve either it's just important to know how and when to relax and know the signs of potential burnout and to disconnect from negative influence while it's a great to truly focus on your goals you also need to set aside time to just live in the moment these raises your vibration aligning you with the positive fulfilling things you want to attain 
the step eight stay positive the final step is to try and stay positive throughout the entire process of manifesting a job that doesn't mean that you are forbidden from feeling acknowledging negative emotions however you should aim to address them as they come up instead of repressing them and take steps to move on to a better place where this um, requires doing something like to cheer you up spending time with a friend or going to therapy figure out what includes a more positive mindset and now when you need to do it it's tough to stay positive if you have struggled to attract something you deeply want however remember that all of your difficulties are opportunities to learn the lessons you need to get to the stage of living in alignment with your true purpose if you wait long enough you will find that the things you resent right now may later become things you are grateful to have experienced. Now, law of attraction job affirmation. Using affirmation is one of the most basic and effective law of attraction techniques, so it's well worth designing some of your own in order to support your quest for a job. Affirmation or simple phrases and capture your positive intentions and keep you focused on the belief that you can attract what you want. You can recite these phrases first thing in the morning. You have them appear as reminders on your phone or write them on signs and display them in places that will motivate you. There is no limit to how you can um, use affirmations to support you or your manifestation goals. Therefore, be as creative as you like, regardless of how you use them. Here are some examples that you can adapt and result or reuse for your own purpose. I am manifesting my ideal job. Success is a part of time or su- success is a part of me, allowing me to thrive in my dream job. I will feel confident, powerful and good when I interview for my dream job. I work happily and productively with everyone I encounter. I am open, excited and grateful for the opportunities life provides. The universe is leading me towards the job I have always wanted. I am magnetic, attracting success and prosperity. I will find the job that is right for my talents and passions. I deserve a job that will make me feel happy and fulfilled. I am ready to attract the job I deserve. I am attracting my dream job right now. The universe is preparing me for my dream job. I easily network with others, attracting them with my positive vibration. All of my career experiences are preparing me for my dream job. My dream job brings fulfillment, passion, and ambience. I live my life in gratitude for the dream job I am attracting. I'm well paid, respected, and successful. That's all about the manifest power in this video. I hope you all liked it. I'll definitely come in the next video with my other content. Till then, God bless you. Bye-bye and take care.